Hey, 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 what's going on everybody? This is Hunter. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today I'm gonna take you on a tour of the 2024 Sundance 27BH. This is a bunk model with two big old double wide bunk beds, one massive slide with a dinette and a pull out sofa and enough countertop space in the kitchen just to be dangerous. Plus you got a decent place to rest your head at night and sleep. With an outdoor kitchen, fiberglass exterior and aluminum frame construction. I think you guys are gonna like it. Drop a comment and let me know what you think. Again, this is the 2024 Sundance 27BH. We're gonna start our tour inside and then work our way around the outside. All the specifications, things like length, height, tank sizes, awning sizes, you can find down in the description of the video and it should pop up on the screen. But I hope you guys like RV tours. Hit that like and subscribe button for daily RV content. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Like I said, we're gonna start on the inside, then work our way on the, around the outside. And I think this is gonna one, uh, this is one that you're gonna like. I don't have too much experience, you know, with the Sundance, but I am familiar uh, with the branding as a, as a whole, you know, just the, the whole kind of division that they're in. And they are nice campers. You see, you got the barrel roof that opens up to a little bit extra head height. You know, I'm six feet tall and you can see the interior space on this is pretty darn nice. I'm gonna guess probably somewhere, you know, around six, six. And when you're inside of a camper traveling around, anything you can do to feel a little bit less claustrophobic is gonna go a long way to extending those trips out and keep the sanity down. I mean, or sanity up. You are traveling with some kids. So any of those little creature comforts you can have definitely add to a better experience. But since this is a bunk model, I'll go ahead and start back here. Again, double wide teddy bear mattress bunks. So even if you have, you know, some larger kids, you know, a kid that maybe even weighs up to 299 pounds like myself, you are more than fine because this has a 300 pound max load capacity. And underneath, you do get some additional storage here as well, which is pretty nice. You know, stuff a couple, you know, some winter jackets, some totes, whatever you need. You have a blind right here as well for some added privacy and the ducting even goes back to the bunk bed. So that way, you know, the kids are nice and cool. You do get a window right here with the old Dracula shade, stop the skin from sizzling, keep some nosy eyes out. And then you also have another window back there as well, you know, which is nice, which also doubles as an emergency exit. So pull, push and plop, you can get out in a hurry. As far as the bathroom is concerned, it's on the smaller side, but the way that it's positioned, you're okay. You got a toilet where you can still sit down and shoulder on both right and left. You're not clanging and banging anything. Again, I'm a bigger dude, so getting into that shower is sometimes a problem. This is just enough room to be uh, conducive for someone my size to even want to shower in an RV. You also have a vent right there to help circulate you know, some of that steam or some of that stink or rooney, depending on what you're doing. You got a little mirror right there, purely to check out bowling guns, baby. Bada bang, bada boom. Bowling league starts up January 22nd. Let's get it going. You got outlets, 12 volt sink. Brush your teeth, wash your hands, dunk your face, do the cold challenge, whatever you want to do. You got the room to do it. Little rhino horn buggies right there to hang up a towel and a cubby to put uh, whatever my wife would put in there. <laughs> Might be like a crystal or something. I'll tell you, she's into that whole, you know, if you haven't seen my videos before, my wife is into, you know, all the shaman stuff. And I swear, everywhere we go has got like a coyote bone, an elephant picture, or, you know, some type of crystal. <laughs> she's awesome though. Babe, if you're watching, I love you. You got a closet right here, and it's pretty nice. You actually have the control panel tucked away, which is something that I haven't really seen before. Typically, they're going to be placed right here on the side, but I actually like the fact that they're in here because we do have four kids and I could totally see those ding-dongs closing the slide while I'm sitting down moving thinking it's funny or extending out the awning turning on the water heater you know whatever I like that it's tucked away if I hear the closet open I can get what whooping some booty you got battery fresh tank black tank gray tank auxiliary tank every tank no tank all tanks right there stowaway items a closet I'd probably like to see a little hanging bar uh, added on to that, but I'm sure a little DIY project could take care of that. I'd probably like to put in, you know, some hoodies and things of that nature. As we move on over to the slide, you're going to notice that there's no carpet and there's also going to be no vents in the floor. So I know a lot of people do not like the vents, do not like the carpet. You are good to go there. This couch right here 
it does pull out for some extended sleeping and you can sleep too so that is nice you're also going to get a little usb and universal c charger so that's going to be nice for your mobile devices big open windows i got the shades all down right now but each and every one does open up so that way you can catch you know a good view hopefully you're camping somewhere nice you know where you have that view oh i guess before i do that this is also directly across from the tv and the fireplace that fireplace has a setting that goes up to 100 degrees and it does not f around it is freaking hot i mean you pull that thing on there you're sweating yourself out this turn thing turns into a sweat box you got different lighting structures right there that's my personal favorite i think at night when i'm watching a movie all the lights are off i just think it looks pretty cool it's kind of mesmerizing really you got your am fm radio so it's irv technologies so you got zone one and two so that's music inside outside so you can play them on both sides usbs hdmi you flip back around bang you're right back at your dinette table again the windows are all up and around because you got decent slide height but they instead of putting the overhead cabinetry they opted to have bigger windows now for slide height we already went over the ceiling height here but this is going to be just above my ear so unless you're coming in like a barbarian and steaming your way into the dinette you know you're not going to have to worry about bonking your head they also got a pretty fancy pants lighting structure there above the dinette as well i think it's pretty cool looking personally it's got kind of that chicken wire effect this table is seating for four um, or you could sit down you know play some cards read a book do whatever you do but it also drops down um, you know to make another sleeping space another concern of some people is when they're sitting down you got the tv nice and flat so i want to go ahead and put you into the eyes of the viewer and that way you can see the view that you're going to get wow that's nice boom so there you go you can move that on an angle it swivels around you can also angle it over at the bunks as well which is pretty nice you know keep the kids from yelling at you you got your ac right here and this is going to be one of those big boys that coleman mock you also have the dump valve so if you don't want to push it through the track system you know you can open that up that dump valve and it disproportionately pushes the cool air in at the expense of pushing a little bit less cool air back in the bedroom so you can box that off when you're not using it you can see right here you got a pretty good norco refrigerator bada bing bada boom fuse box is under that so if something isn't working make sure to check that out it'll tell you you know what's not working and why uh, i do like this and this seems to be uh you know kind of your your heartland division your cruiser division in general is kind of going this way but they added in an air fryer so that's pretty nice we got an air fryer probably about four months ago my kids use it all the freaking time but it does actually make some pretty crispy chicken nuggies you got the three stove top burner to whip up all the fixings you got a pretty cool little backsplash kind of reminds me of like a scope or something like from a video game like some call of duty action and then you got four pull out drawers the bottom one being a little bit bigger than the top ones but i'll show you this the bottom one's going to be about two and a half times the depth of that a good enough amount of countertop space not overwhelming but enough you know to get the job done and then you do have an outlet right here as well single stainless steel undermounted bowl hitting those dishes from all angles a nice little shelf right here and some access to your plumbing so that's always a big time perk and then up above around the microwave you're gonna see you have a hood with a vent and a fan but you also get some storage up here and it kind of creates that corner elbow um, and they are all connected in one open spot but all right give you one more look around here and then we're gonna head back into the bedroom drop a comment let me know what you think let me know if i can add anything to these videos now that I got a little bit more time to make the videos, um, I'm in the pursuit of doing better for you, gaining a bigger following, becoming a better value for my family and for yours. So here in the bedroom, you know, I am a big fan of this bedroom structure. I wish the mattress was a little bit nicer. They do use a thin mattress, but most people end up replacing them. You know, I like a hard mattress. My wife likes a soft mattress. So nobody seems to ever agree on them. You got outlets on both sides. I also like how they have this little nook right here. 
so that way you know you can put some different things again my wife with the books but you also have this right here so you can put in the CPAP plug it on in you also have USB and universal C back there but pretty cool little area this is gonna be the same both left and right above you also got that textured glass let's give my shout out to my wife again a devil babe I love you video I think that might be a first Oh yeah, baby. Window. Behind me is another window with an emergency exit. Pull, push, and plop a Rooney. You can get out in a hurry. TV backer location, satellite, two outlets. And then you got some more pull-out drawers here that are tucked away in a really nice and easy spot. This camper also has dual entry. So you have one dedicated just to the bedroom. And then the other one, you know, where I came in over in the living room. with a little bit more direct access uh, to the toilet in general. So now I'm going to head around the outside, show you what she's all about. But first, I'm going to close this up, and I'm going to give you a view of what you're looking at. So just in case you forgot, all the specifications, length, height, tank sizes, awning sizes, you can find that down in the description of the video, along with a price directly to the pricing. Along with a link directly to the price. I think I fumbled my words there, but that's okay. But uh, 2024 Sundance 27BH, the bunk model. Hope you guys are enjoying the tour so far. Hit that like and subscribe button for all the future videos. But I'm going to start up in the front of the camper. And one thing that I enjoy is it does have a little bit of a larger front pass-through storage than most. And they're going to come with something that is super uncommon, the slam latch door. So a little bit heavier. They're not the crazy expensive ones like you'll see on some of those high-end fifth wheels, all metal. But they do have a metal insert here and the magnetic latch, and I'm gonna show you that here in a second. Solar charge controller, laminated flooring, aluminum frame construction welded at all points, your battery disconnect and prep for tire link. Tire link is essentially going to be a tire pressure monitoring system that you can purchase online, you know, third party or at the dealership. And it allows you the comfortability of knowing that you don't have to worry about a blowout because it'll tell you when that blowout's about to happen. You're also inverter prepped too, so if you want you know, some things, uh, some extra help running the harnessing the solar to work some extra stuff. You're good to go there. But here's the slam latch. Pretty darn snazzy. You don't see that in travel trailers. This is also going to be an Asdale camper. If you're not familiar with Asdale, it is essentially a way to help kind of waterproof your camper. If you are going to get a leak, it soaks in way less. It doesn't soak in water. Isn't it? You know, it just creates a longevity for your camper in that uh-oh moment. Hopefully you never need to know why Asdale is nice. Extend and retract for your power stabilizing jacks. It's all heated and exposed underbelly, or heated and enclosed underbelly. The jacks are also going to be on the PSX1 system, uh, which people seem to like. I don't know, you know why exactly they like them, uh, but people do seem to like them, so i got to do a little research there. The awning is pretty darn big. I'm going to guess somewhere around 20 feet, but you also have speakers and speakers, marine grade outside. Dual axles, so a little bit more of a comfortable drive. Your potable water, satellite outlets. The more ride step aboves, you're going to get those on the main door, not on the bedroom entrance. But what's nice about that is they're kind of a more all weather door. They're a little bit sturdier. They got the weather strip. They also pull up and go into your door as well. You're also going to see that you do have the storm door. It's on a little friction hinge up to 25 mile per hour winds. And you get a screen door here too. You got an outside kitchen so you can cook up some burgers, some tofu, whatever your likes are. You're good there. It's kind of like a Blackstone. The Blackstone seems to be you know, taking over uh, life right now for people. And I like having that feature. You also have a place where you can throw up, you know, buns and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Outdoor refrigerator right here where you can probably fit about a 24 rack of apple juice. Absolutely no problemo. A little spray port to clean some fish or wash some hands. There's the other control. And you even got a leash latch too if you're bringing your furry friend along with you. You have a bumper with a spare tire back end there of your water heater. And then you're prepped for two different items here. Your Furion observation camera that comes with a four and a half inch screen so you can suction cup that bad boy right onto your windshield, see what's going on behind you with some distance markers. And then you also are prepped for the Lippert on the go ladder system. So you see those little two holes right there? It's a ladder that hooks onto it, it extends up and over so you can get on top of your fully walkable roof, check your seals, check your slides, make sure all your maintenance is on the up and up. Spare tire, trail air king. There's going to be one of your dunk valves right there. Here's going to be where you plug in the camper. 
city water connection, black tank flush, a second spray port, which is nice, satellite and cable. A black tank flush, if you're not familiar with that, it's essentially just a sprinkler system for your poop tank. Knock some of the crap off the walls. Right over here is gonna be your other tank. And this is the back end there of that pass through storage. And again, it does come with the slam latch. Heading up the front, you got a battery disconnect. Place for a battery, you could probably fit a second one on there if you'd like. 20 pound propane bottles and your power tongue jack. But all right guys, hope you guys enjoyed the tour. Hope to see you for the next one. Again, my name is Hunter and this is the 2024 Sundance 27BH. Have a great day. See ya. Meow, 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 meow,